Hey guys, Mayfair here with the next Mayfair's Minecraft Mod Monday. Now this one is the Sonic Ethos Unbelievable Shaders Mod and obviously the GSL GSL Shaders Mod. Or I actually can't remember what that is. Sorry, jump cut there. Press the wrong button. <laughs> but pretty much what it does is just adds. Well, <laughs> you can see more shadows. Like the plants move. It brightens up the sun. There is a way, it's a work in progress, and it's obviously still a bit buggy, but there is a way to make these um, clouds volumetric clouds. So, um, yeah, unfortunately I don't know how to install that, so if I turn the uh, cloud shadows off, because uh, it was getting kind of annoying, but yeah, it adds like flying shadows to that, and if, I mean, if you just look, you can see how amazing it makes Minecraft look. Um, I am actually going to be using this in my Feed the Beast playthrough. Um, ah, it was just because um, I get more RAM with that, so it doesn't um, make lag errors like that as much. So yeah, I mean the Feed the Beast Horizons one, um, the um, FPS I get slightly slower, but not that much slower. There is one problem with this mod though. It's, you need a beast of a computer to run it. I mean, my computer's pretty high, and you can see that it was lagging. But also... What you just got there, if it did pick up up after post was that was my computer fans this thing like my computer only does that when I'm running like really high-end games so you can see it does tank Minecraft quite a bit so yeah this mod is amazing I'll put the links in the description this is a quick just a quick video because well there's not a lot to show off because it doesn't add any new items or crafting recipes it just looks makes Minecraft look awesome and yeah, so there's not much. The thing is though, like it does obviously like you can see like how it does dynamic lighting. Like you can see the shadows moving. Uh I think I broke it. So yeah, like if I get a torch if I can remember which one the torch is in, there it is. I am not playing Minecraft well today, am I? Take the torch in my hand and then just place it down. You get this rather than this what bright white sunlight glow, you get this nice orange glow, which makes Minecraft feel a lot more realistic. Honestly, I should have really been looking for a um, realistic, a high graphics texture pack. They recommend a texture pack with it that I wasn't using. I might actually put it on the Feed the Beasts Horizons one. But apart from that, obviously it has to be compatible with the Horizons mod, otherwise you'll get errors but like you can see like how nice this looks but it's not just that I mean it's you know like you can see water here ah you can oh okay so break here there we go like flowing water renders lava renders the sun renders really brightly you get well, you get partial reflections, like you get reflections of the sun. But obviously that's because it's oh well no actually hold on. Yeah, you do get reflections there. But you don't get reflections of your Minecraft character. I think that's a different mod which isn't compatible with this one, so But yeah, like the link is in the description below. I seriously suggest if you've got a PC that can run this, check it out. <laughs> Oh. oh, I think my allergies have been playing up. Because, I mean, look at it. There's no way you can say, if you are a fan of Minecraft, you, there's no way you can say that this does not look good. And once I find out how to do volumetric clouds, or, well, or the author puts it in as standard, um, um, this mod will just look a whole lot more amazing because it makes the clouds look less blocky and more like clouds in real life so 
yeah anyway guys i'll leave it there i will see you for the cook serve delicious episode which will be going oh no Kerbal space program episode which will be going up tomorrow and peace out and i hope you have a good time